Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are talking about season one, episode one of the brand new series on Vice TV, Tales from the Territories. Dude, two thumbs way up on the first episode from executive producer, or you know, from executive producer The Rock and his ex-wife Danny Garcia, and from the team who made Dark Side of the Ring. Dude, this show is exactly what you need if you're an old school fan like I am, or if you're a new school guy who wants to learn about some your fucking elders, because those who don't know the history are doomed to repeat it. Um, but you know, you get a roundtable discussion. You know, previously in Dark Side of the Ring, it's either a person or an event that happened, and we're going to cover it from all angles for a full hour. Well, this one's a little bit different. It's a roundtable discussion where it's tales from the territories. In episode one here, we get Memphis when wrestling was real. And they got fucking a great round table here. Jimmy Hart, who I've met, Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, Dutch Mantel, and Jerry Lawler, who I've also met. Did I say Jerry? I said Jimmy Hart, right? Jimmy Hart and Jerry Lawler. There we go. And, uh, dude, it's a nice little round table discussion of five guys, five OGs shooting the shit, telling stories about how it used to be. And they're priding themselves in, damn, we caused a riot in 73, and you know what I mean? Or, you know, the things that they were able to do, you know, that it was a fucking badge of honor if somebody stabbed you. The things that they were talking about. Jimmy Hart gets a blow gun shot at him. Um, Jerry Lawler gets a brick thrown through his car. Just people are constantly trying to fight them. And then you get to see, like, the old school wrestlers that aren't really around anymore, like, you know, Joe LaDuke or... Moriarty or I forget the name Molinanti something like that that fucking Jerry Jarrett had to steal his eye bro on some old Bob Geigel shit like this is that old school territory you know where don't run the same towns as me motherfucker like it's about to get real in here and these old school grizzled southern wrestler wrestlers as it were are putting in that work dude and it's cool to see how things and how times have changed but you know they got some good stories in there and the bloodshed that they're doing Joe LaDuke or uh, Ox Baker or The Crush or just certain things and you get to see where a lot of that old school Memphis wrestling comes from and how it propelled um, you know Vince's TV later on but it's just cool to see Jerry tell stories about taking a fucking guy's eye out uh, or excuse me uh, yeah Jerry Jarrett and then uh, uh, Jerry Lawler who's also telling stories about you know Kamala and you know Sugar Bear Harris or whatever and um you know, it's just crazy to hear Dutch Man tell. They tell the story of, um, you know, it's been told a few times, but of Randy Savage getting to that knife fight at the fucking Waffle House where he ends up getting taken down by a dog. And it's fucking hilarious when they tell the story like, yeah, I would have got that guy. But let me tell you something. I would have got that fucking dog too. You know, just knowing Mach, you know, just knowing Macho is that kind of guy. But a really good episode here. I loved it. Uh, nothing better. Two thumbs way the fuck up if you're a wrestling fan. If you're not, go ahead and watch it anyways. You might like it. Vice always puts out good shit. Dark Side of the Ring puts out good shit. The Rock puts out good shit. Seven Buck Productions. I love it. But let me know what you guys think, man. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media. At Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled the K. And that's all for today. Hey, SFR, call Radio.